not used to on the live video. Uh, and uh, well, I finally figured out how to even start it. So, <laughs> great. Uh, and what I'm going to do, I want to say that uh, during your uh, isolation, I hope that everybody's doing fine and that um, you're doing okay and you got enough got enough supplies to get through and uh, you know we got to figure out things to do during this time you know I've been practicing my magic and uh, making uh, comedy vi comedy videos magic videos that type of thing I've been binge watching a bunch of movies and stuff and uh, what I want to show you tonight is something that you can do uh, to just basically pass the time and that's basically what we have to do is pass the time uh, and anyway uh, I want to show you how to play the bottle drums you think, oh man, this is uh, what's the bottle drums? You know, sounds sounds complicated. This bottle drum thing. Well, not really. It's playing bottles. Now the flavor doesn't matter because <laughs> the bottles are empty. Now, I like to take the uh, skinny one liter bottles, dollar piece at. Uh, the dollar store, Dollar General, and for two bucks, you've got a good drum kit. <laughs> anyway. Oops, I got knocked out for a second, but it looks like I'm back. But for two dollars, you can have a great drum kit. And it's good for practice or whatever, but hey, you might actually get a gig whenever we can get gigs again to play the ball drums. It's a unique talent. I'm not the best at it, but anyway. It's it's better to have the, the lids off to get uh, more air inside. So what we do there, uh, I use my knees. I, I'm not going to raise my knees. I can't get them up to my chest. But no, that's very uncomfortable. I'm too fat, but anyway, uh, you want to hit the bony part of the knees. Now, there's certain sections of the bottle that make different sounds. Uh, maybe I can cross my legs and show you here. Put this one down. Just basically, you hold at the end like this. Get a pretty good grip on it, and then you just hit your knee lightly. Then if you hold, uh, squeeze just a little, you get that, uh, you don't get much of an echo there, but like this. Let me do the other one. It has, this one kind of got bent, so this one's a little better. It's more solid. It wasn't stepped on or something, but anyway, we're going to do this. We're going to play this, so watch this. Now when you're playing, if you're hitting your knee and you go back, you get that kind of a tap. But you want to uh, soften, it, soften it down to get a different uh, quality of sound. You go. Maintaining the rhythm. You get a little 
Chris. Slow it down. Now, uh, another thing you can do is when you're playing against your knee, you can get a, a different type of thing going here with the uh, Instead of holding tight, every once in a while you loosen up to where it will bounce on its own. You get a good quality, different sound like that. It's like, see how, it, see how it just let go, let it, let it do it on its own. Do your hand like you play spoons. You go. And every once I'll jump back into your knee. And then, if this one wasn't so bent, it would be a little better. Sorry, okay, <laughs> it took the air out of me. But anyway, I give an essence of that. It's like you're actually playing with drumsticks. You, you can, uh, see, different sound. 